Pick your guitar, shall we? Do we have to? Alright, I think we've got everything. Uh, let's check that. Go ahead and hit that drum for me, would you say? Let's see what that sounds like. Yeah, that's All right. right. There you go, boy. I think that's working. Okay, we're ready. All right, hey everybody, take a look up there. That's Buddy Shecky. Let's have a nice big right. hand for Buddy. Hello, hello. Thank you so much. Uh, my name is uh, Buddy Shecky. I just flew in from uh, the Catskills, and boy, are my arms Jewish. Anyway, thank you all for coming out here. Uh, tonight, uh, I want to introduce my new band. We're at Jew plus two equals four. And uh, uh, we're gonna do a song for you. Uh, this is my good friend, Trainwreck Jones, whom you heard earlier. Woo! Sorry, folks. And uh, this is my good friend, Moon Snake. Woo! Oh, Moon here. Snake, give it up! Woo! Just like all drumming yesterday, folks. Yeah, like all good rock and roll bands, we hired a drummer uh, 15 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> He's a hell of a drummer, too. Okay. Anyway, uh, so tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I thought I would talk for just a moment about the history of music and the Jewish peoples. Now, of course, Many, the Jewish uh, culture has been around for quite a long time. Yeah, and of course, uh, so back in uh, 3,400, 4,000 years ago, <coughs> you may not, we had uh, Jew, uh, Jewish uh, uh, spiritualist songs while we were enslaved in Egypt. Uh, one of which was, uh, I'm sure you all know this song. No, no, no. <laughs> well, I looked over Jordan, and what did I see here? A build up of the military. That's as far as we got, because they would kill us if we ever did anything like that. <laughs> anyway, then you'll see the influence of Jewish music as the diaspora, diasporized. Where are you going, train wreck? The beer store. Can I have a drum roll? Thank you. Nice and done. Just to enhance the drama. And so in Egypt, of course, the, the Jewish music spread throughout Africa. And uh, you'll hear some of those familiar beats from that stem from Jewish slavery and doing, building those pyramids. What is our beat? Beat, beat. Yeah, we got stuff like that. Anyway, so the music spread throughout Africa from Egypt into, uh, ultimately into the Carib, which we uh, like to say, pedantics uh, like to say for Caribbean. I don't know why we say Carib, but anyway. Then it went into Louisiana and the Cajun, and so you will have heard some, some familiar Jewish music. <laughs> Like the following. This is the orange. If I can remember. And then 
and of course. Continue, sir. Of course, some of you. Of course, uh, feel free to sing along with me, because we've got. Where are you? Go ahead, do that. Snake Moon. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> some of you will recognize this too, I'm sure. Give a listen, but you might find folk, you might find some, uh, oh gosh, everything up to heavy metal, up to, uh, gosh, I don't know what's in there. Uh, there's um, there's uh, maybe some techno. Techno Torah. Techno Torah. Techno Torah. <laughs> Are you ready, dude? All right, here we go. We're ready. Are you ready, Woo! folks? Yes. Woo! Can you see this? No. <laughs> okay, here we go, ladies sure. and gentlemen. This is called Grandma's Stripper Pole. By the way, it's a long tradition in uh, Judaism. <laughs> Yeah. 
Everybody give it up one more time for the 